Up to now, we analyzed the problem uh, in a general form of the uh, demand uh, function. Let's go in now to go a little bit more deep uh, and specific, but in order to do that, we need to make some assumptions on uh, on the specific form of the demand function and in particular that's gonna take uh, this uh, exponential uh, uh, form so that the price depends from uh, uh, from the quantity of the resources extracted through a couple of uh, uh, positive uh, uh, constant k and a and uh, uh, so this is the chart so what the 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 benefits the the utility is the area is again the integral uh, uh, over this uh, uh, over the demand function and compared to what we did uh, in uh, uh, in the two uh, period models we we are considering a non-linear relationship that perhaps is more uh, uh, suitable for uh, for uh, uh, for the real real world but still uh, we are using still one price uh, for which the resource is equal uh, uh, to zero so if you put zero if we replace r with, with zero this one uh, and to be one and so we see that the price is equal to k so k is what we did call the chalk price uh, because uh, the uh, demanded quantity go to uh, to zero and uh, to notice again that this is the demand functions at each moment in time so in one moment in time we may have this amount of resources on amount and another moment in time we may have uh, this amount of resources and so on so what we want to do is we want to take the integral of these curves and then take this one at each moment in time so we will have a two integral one as a, a two to obtain uh, the utility level uh, at any given point in times and another to get the intertemporal uh, uh, welfare and uh, our solution must also consider the fact that again we are going to harvest all the resources so at the time uh, capital T the stock must be equal to zero but also the extraction of the resources must go to uh, to zero and with uh, this information on the uh, on the uh, specific uh, production function uh, demand function sorry with the fact that we know the terminal conditions and the initial condition uh, as zero we will be able we have uh, enough information to uh, to have a complete uh, solutions of our uh, problem and now you may ask what is a solution exactly well a solution will be as we we said last uh, on last lesson to find uh, which uh, is the level of our control variable and uh, uh, the the um, co-state uh, variables that uh, are uh, at the initials of the period, at the end of the period, and on any interim, uh, any moment in times between uh, uh, between now and the, and the final moment of uh, of interest, with the fact that we also need to know endogenously which is this fi final moment in times and i would like to say that to top of this one we can also uh, say which is the level of the stock which is the level of our uh, um, stock of natural resources uh, well we know that this is s0 and we know that this is zero and uh, we'll have also to find which is the level of stock at any given moment in time so filling uh, uh, this table will be the objective of uh, uh, the next few slides uh, 
Before we start, let's note that uh, uh, k, uh, the parameter uh, of the um, our specific uh, uh, demand functions, is also the price at the terminal uh, uh, state of of the model. And this is because uh, we said that at terminal state of the model, the resource extraction must be equal to zero, and k is exactly the price when the resource demand is equal to zero. And uh, Let's go into uh, derive uh, from our inverse demand functions the opposite one, uh, that is the direct demand function of the resource as function of, uh, of price. And when we do that from the inverse demand function, we obtain the direct demand functions. Well, here we notice that at any moment in time, the uh, price uh, can be seen as a function of the initial price and so we can replace this one with this one and in particular because we just said that k is the price at the final moment in times we can uh, replace with, with, this uh, with this expression here so we have uh, this ratio in the, in the logarithm so we can cancel this one and uh, take out the, the logarithm and we end up with an equation that describe the path, the temporal path, the dynamic of the extraction of, uh, of our, the optimal extraction of uh, the natural resources. However, still here we have uh, this capital T that we don't know and in order to find that we have to we can consider that the the extraction of the resource uh, the total extraction of the resource must be equal to the initial stock of the resource and we just replace in this integral the equations at each moment in time of, of the resource so then we have the uh, definite uh, integral that we can evaluate at capital T less uh, at zero and when we do that we finally arrive to an equation that describe the final uh, final time of uh, our uh, planning as a function of only the parameters of the model so rho is a parameter of the model a is the a part of the demand function so it is a parameter of the model and the initial level of the stock also is a parameter of the model and uh, we can speak we can speak of a final moment in times exactly because we have k because we have a chalk price at which the demand uh, is driven to zero so it's this one uh, is the the fact that we have we, the demand uh, doesn't go to um, to to infinite when the so the price doesn't go to infinite when the demand when when the demanded quantity uh, the extracted resource go, is zero. But we have uh, we can have a final moment in time in 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 our uh, in our model. Let's try to continue to look for our uh, specific solutions and in particular for the initial price, for the price at any point in time and for the initial level of the resource to extract. And let's, let's start for the initial price of the resource. And we know that k, the parameter of the demand function, is also equal to the price at the time at which the resource will be completely depleted, capital T. But we also know by the Otenli rule that this price is equal to the actualization of the initial price by the period capital T. So we can, from here, we can get back the initial price as a function of K and uh, capital T and then we already found what is capital T in terms of parameter of the models and we can retrieve the initial price as a function of the parameters only. Let's move on to look which is the price at any given moment in times and in particular we know again from the telling rules that at any given moment in times, the price at that time 
will be the actualization of the initial times, the initial price, uh, uh, the price at uh, the initial moment. And uh, we already found that one, so we can uh, replace this one here and we obtain uh, the, uh, the equations of uh, the price at any given moment in time. Finally, we found that the earlier the, the equation of uh, the uh, resource to extract uh, again at any moment in times, and if it is true at any moment in times, in particular will be true at time equals zero. So from, from this one, and uh, replacing again capital T with the parameters of the models, we are able to find the initial resource to extract. To summarize, we found uh, all the levels of the control variables that uh, uh, guarantee an optimization of uh, the welfare in our uh, uh, model and the associated, uh, the associated uh, core state uh, uh, variables. So we have the levels for them at the beginning of uh, our optimization at the end of our optimizations and we found that also the optimal depletion time at at any time from uh, in in between uh, uh, now and and the final uh, moment so the results is given in terms of parameters of the models but uh, at this time you can just replace and obtain instead a numerical uh, solution. This is a graphical representation of the solutions uh, to the um, optimization problem that we just uh, saw. So here we have, uh, in this axis, we have uh, the net price. In this axis, we have the uh, extraction of the resources and uh, on this axis that is mirrored by this this line we have uh, both here and here we have time so the demand uh, functions link the price with the uh, level of extraction of the resource and this this constant with time so it doesn't change with time and it end up uh, to uh, the chalk price equal to uh, to k so price will evolve from uh, initial uh, initial level at this level will have a certain demand and this demand will link this price with this amount of the resource and uh, but this price will tend to to grow with time till arriving to the chalk price here okay so at the terminal state at the same time, uh, the resource extractions will, will start from this level and as the price will uh, increase, the extraction of the resource with time will, dec will, uh, will decrease till to arrive again at the terminal uh, uh, state to be equal, uh, equal to zero. And uh, everything, the, the, the area here in green it is that it's equal to the total amount of the initial uh, initial resource, initial stock of the resource.